सो फ्रेंड्स माय टॉपिक ऑफ द टाइटल इज फोटो गैलिंग सेल्स रिन्यूएबल एंड फ्यूचर एनर्जी डिवाइसेस फॉर सोलर पावर एंड स्टोरेज यू नो दीज आर वेरी सिंपल डिवाइसेस दे सिंपली कन्वर्ट्स सोलर एनर्जी इनटू सोलर पावर एंड दीज सेल्स हैव आल्सो पावर टू स्टोर द सोलर पावर सो माय टॉक विल रन ऑन फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन देन सर्वे ऑफ सोलर पावर टेक्निक्स फोटोगल सेल दैट इज माई रिसर्च फील्ड देन वाट इज माई कंट्रीब्यूशन टू द फील्ड ऑफ फोटोग सेल्स देन हाउ फोटोग सेल्स कंपेयर्स विद अदर सिमिलर सेल्स देन हाउ फोटोग सेल्स कुड बी फ्यूचर एनर्जी सोर्स एंड फाइनली वाट टू बी डन इन द फील्ड ऑफ फोटोग सेल्स सो फ्रेंड्स इन इंट्रोडक्शन आई जनरली स्टार्ट्स विथ सम टर्स दीज टर्स आर सुप्रीम फर्स्ट एवरी वन हैज टू डाई देर इज नो एक्सेप्शन एवरी वन हैज टू डाई सेकेंड एवरी थिंग हैज टू डाई इफ यू टेक नॉन लिविंग थिंग दैट हैज ऑल्सो टू डाई मे सम थिंग्स मे टेक लॉन्गर टाइम दैट मे बी दिंग सेकेंड समटाइम्स थिंग्स कैन हैपन विदाउट मनी सपोज You are hungry, and you have no money, no problem. You enter a party without valid invitation. You will have the your lunch, dinner, enjoy the food. But entering the party is not sufficient to have the food. You have to pick up the plate. So you have to exp expenditure the energy. Then you have to pick up the food. Then you have to put food into your mouth. Then you have to be chewing. then again after going food inside your stomach stomach has to expenditure energy to extract energy from the food so next truth is sometimes things can happen without money but nothing can happen without the time and energy anything you want to do you need time if you want to raise finger you need time every activity needs time and input of energy no exception it is supreme truth so therefore energy is essential for everything so let me have some data about the energy if we take data at world level 70% energy is coming from non renewable energy sources and 30% power is coming from renewable sources at india level 71.4% energy is coming from non renewable sources and 28.6% power is coming from renewable sources so you see here india is on pace with global trend regarding renewable energy there is global average around 1/3 from renewable energy and at india level there is also about 1/3 energy coming from the renewable source that indicates in coming future India is day by day acquiring more and more responsibility as the global level. If you take data at my home state, that is Rajasthan, 66 percent power is coming from non-renewable sources and 34 percent power is from renewable sources. So Rajasthan state much ahead of the global average. And I am resident of Jodhpur city in Rajasthan. and there are some similarities between jodhpur and california and nevada state of the usa these similarities have attracted me to visit this conference so what are the similarities climatic conditions of jodhpur and climatic conditions of california and nevada states are similar there is desert in jodhpur there is desert in california and nevada at world level California and Nevada receives highest sun intensity in the world. Amount is seven to nine kilowatt hour per day per meter square, highest in the world. And after that, it is the number of the Rajasthan. Rajasthan, specifically Jodhpur city, receives five to seven kilowatt hour per day per meter square. So these are very similar things, which is very exciting for me to visit here. at india level presently 
there is 2.54 lakh megawatt production capacity. This is data at Rajasthan level. So now come to the levels of needs of energy. You know, friends, energy is required for two things. One is at body level, that is supplied by food and drink. And other is at household and industry level, this energy comes from the non-renewable and renewable sources. You all know non-renewable sources, these are consumed after use. Suppose you are producing the power from the coal, then coal is consumed during the production of the power. If you are producing energy from the diesel, then during the process of production of the power, diesel is consumed. That is why this is non-renewable energy source. These non-renewable energy sources, they have their own beauty and they have their own limitations. You know it very well. Now come to renewable energy, means these are those sources which after production of energy are not consumed. Suppose you are using hydropower, then you are using water, then water is simply falling on the blades of the turbine. So during the production of hydropower, you are not consuming the water, thereby water is the renewable source. Suppose you are having the wind power, so simply you are using wind to rotate the turbine. So during the production of wind power, there is no consumption of wind. This is why these are called renewable energy sources. So they have their own limitations and their beauties. Among the all renewable energy sources, solar energy has special significance. That is why I have opted this field as my research field. What are these beauties? It is mother of all energy sources. Whether you take hydropower, whether you take wind power, whether you take ocean power, whether you take coal, fossil fuels, solar energy is mother of all energy sources. Second, this point. You know whether there is life on Mars or not, we are not sure. Whether there is life on Jupiter, we are not sure. But we are sure that there is everywhere sun. Throughout the universe, there are radiations. So what is the significance of solar power techniques? Once we master in solar power techniques, they may be the energy source for use on all planets. This is the special significance of solar energy. If you master in wind power technique, you are not sure you are, you are going to have the power from wind on the Mars. Because you don't know whether there is wind on Mars or not. You don't know whether there is wind on Jupiter or not. And finally, as long as there is life on the Earth, only there is one source, that is solar. That can assure you supply of energy. Because why Earth is habitable? Because there is sun. So there is energy balance. And when there is no sun, so in the course of time, Earth will convert into cold planet that won't be able to sustain the life, as you see at the North Pole and South Pole of the Earth. So this is the beauty of the solar energy technique. So regarding the solar energy, this is the status. At world level, about 3% power is coming from the solar. And if you take data at India level, about 1% is coming from the solar power. And at India level, to increase the contribution of solar power, India has launched a special mission that is Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Plan. Its aim is to produce about 20,000 megawatt of solar power by the 2020. Second point of my talk is survey of solar power techniques. These are all techniques which directly converts solar energy into solar power. Uh, solar concentrating power, solar photovoltaic 
technology, dye sensitized solar cell technology, photogram cells, etc. So I am not going to focus on these things. Yeah, come to photogram cells. This is my research field. So what are these devices? Very simple devices. You simply take a vessel and simply take three chemicals. Solution of sensitizer, solution of reductant like glucose and sodium hydroxide. Three chemicals. Simply you take the three chemicals and put these chemicals in the natural sunlight. You will have the power. You put the solution inside this room in present condition, you will have the power. Simply difference is that outside in natural sunlight that is of high intensity, you will have the power generation within three or four minutes and inside this room it may take longer time, say nine to ten minutes. And you can also add the surfactants. Addition of surfactant is not necessary to have the solar power from the photogram cells. Only sodium hydroxide, sensitizer and reductant. These three chemicals are necessary. Then you may ask me, what is the significance of addition of surfactant? These chemicals simply increase the efficiency of the cell by dissolving dye completely. You know, for extracting power, we need electrodes. So actually, how I am doing the experiment, let me explain you. So this is simple diagram of photogallic cell. You see, this is simple glass tube of S shape. And I simply blacken it from outside, leaving one small window for illumination. Okay? So this is illumination, illuminated chamber because illumination is coming to this arm and this is the dark chamber. In this dark chamber, I am simply putting saturated caramel electrode. And this arm, I am simply putting platinum electrode. And to measure the current magnitude, to measure the potential, I am simply using a meter, A. This is measuring the current. And V, you see this V? This is digital pH meter. This is simply measuring the potential. So I simply fill up the solution in this glass tube, then illuminate and having the power. Suppose now I charge this cell in this room, then take this room, in, then, then take this cell into dark, I will have the power. Because this cell has inherent power storage capacity. Suppose I charge this cell today itself, I may also use this cell tomorrow because this cell has power storage capacity. And this cell can undergo many cycles of charging, discharging. You charge this cell, then discharge this cell, then again charge this cell, then again discharge it, can, um, can undergo many, many cycles of charging and discharging. So this is the beauty of this cell inherent power storage capacity by means of simple chemicals, by means of simple method, very simple fabrication. Then one more thing I am doing, the efficiency of this cell, how much current this cell will produce, how much potential this cell will produce, how much power this cell will produce, is affected by many factors. Say, Concentration means concentration of sensitizer, concentration of surfactant, concentration of sodium hydroxide, concentration of reductant, then platinum size. You take a small size platinum, you take large size platinum, there shall be difference in current. Diffusion length. What is the diffusion length? Distance between center of this arm to this arm. This is the diffusion length. The illumination intensity also influence the cell efficiency. So I study effect of various parameters. And at optimum value of concentration, at optimum value of the diffusion length, at optimum value of the temperature, and at optimum value of the uh, light intensity, 
I get the highest power from the cell. Oh, now come to the mechanism. Actually, how you are getting the power and how this cell is storing the power. You see, this is illuminated chamber, platinum electrode. This is dark chamber, saturated caramel electrode. And you see, this is the dye, sensitizer. So during the illumination, this photon is absorbed by this dye. Dye molecule gets excited. And this is reductant. So this reductant gave electron to this dye. So dye acquires minus charge means this dye has now excess electrons. Their excitation of dye, then dye getting the uh, electron from the reductant, then this excess electron, because dye cannot hold this excess electron for longer time. So this dye donates this electron to platinum, then this electron goes through the external circuit to the, this. So there is flow of the current. Then, at this electrode, this dye accept electron, D minus, then reductant, so original forms. Finally, you are getting the original state of the reductant. Finally, you are getting the original state of dye. So there is no consumption of chemicals. That is why this cell can undergo many cycles of charging and discharging. Survey of photon, some background of the photogallic cells. You know, novelty comes very rarely. So, this was scientist Rabinovich. That when you take two different electrodes and illuminate these electrodes, you are having the current. This phenomena is called photogallonic effect. So this was the scientist Rabinovich who suggested that this photogallonic effect can be used to convert sunlight into electricity. To explore this suggestion, many studies have been done. So I see two uh, eras. In beginning, photogallonics emphasize on quartile platinum electrode with ferrous ion as reducing agent. And later on, scientists have started using non quartile platinum with saturated caramel electrode and different dyes like methylene blue, azure, fluorescent, or reductants like this. And I belong to this later group. What is my contribution? I have done a study on brilliant crystal blue sensitizer, fracto reductant system published in fuel. Nephthalm Green B dye, published in Applied Solar Energy, Sudan First Dye, published in Arabian Journal of Chemistry, and uh, Comparative Study of Various Synthetic Dye and Natural Photosynthesis, recently published in RSC Advances. And a special contribution people are using this dye and this dye, that dye, I have shown you take any dye. Under similar conditions, all dyes all mixtures of dye give the same result. So when all dyes give the same result, then why to use the costly dye? You must use very re cheaper dyes, renewable dyes. So this is my contribution. You see results. This is highest result of other persons, power 168.95, and my own publication, I have got the 1081 microbyte. Current 480 microampere by others people, I have shown 4200 microampere. Efficiency by others, 1.62 percent. And I have observed 13.5 percent.